Hello guys and gals, welcome back to the Chopper Fett channel. I am your host Brett and I make motorcycle vlogs and other motorcycle related content. Today we're going to talk about what the plans are for the Dyna in the off season. Off season's approaching us. It's 60 degrees today. Could be 40 degrees tomorrow. You just never know here in Kansas. So let's go and roll that intro and we'll get to uh, the future Dyna mods. Roll it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <sighs> All right. So today we are talking about what the plans are for the Dyna over the winter time. And I just sneezed on, <laughs> on this road here and uh, it kind of hurt. <laughs> All right, now let's see if this guy's gonna play nice. I'm going in here. This is like a pretty much U-turn up and in. All right, we got it. Squiggly line, next one mile. Perfect time to talk about stuff, not concentrate on the road. Just kidding, I'm taking a slow. So what we got planned for the Frank and Dinah for the winter time? It's gonna be all front end this year. There's a lot of stuff sitting in the garage and I'll kind of show you some pictures with it as we're kind of going through this little ride here. Ooh, wrong gear. Sorry, I scared off your fishies. All right, so we'll start mm, top or bottom. Start the top or the bottom. Well, let's start at the bottom and just work our way up. So as you can see, currently on the very bottom, I have some really nasty aluminum, I'm assuming aluminum for sliders. Uh, one of them I polished up last year, and it was a pain in the butt to do so. So I just never got around to actually polishing the other one, and it it looks terrible. Uh, so I did the easy approach, and I was able to secure a set of Street Bob forks that have the black sliders on them. So, again, you can kind of see where we're going to go. More black on the bike, right? So we got the fork sliders. The next part that's above the sliders are some fork gaiters. Now these I'm kind of indecisive on because I like the look and I hate the look at the same time. I feel like Harley put these on their cheaper motorcycles for a time, but I could be could be wrong. But there's there's a certain cheaperness to it, but I kind of like how it looks. So kind of torn. I'll probably keep them on there. And then from there, we're going to get some black turn signals to replace these chrome guys up front. Guess you guys are seeing my theme so far. <laughs> uh, the ones I have now probably aren't going to work because they were made for a rear turn signal. Um, so I'll probably just end up uh, trying to fetch some off of a some sort of iron or something like that that has the the right. The right wiring already for it. If not, I'll have to do a little splice action. All right. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 All right, moving up further is going to be the triple clamps. When I bought those new fork tubes that were with the black sliders, it came with the black triple tree as well man it's gonna, there's gonna be so much black on the front of this bike it's gonna be awesome <laughs> all right so we got the black triple trees but then what's going in the forks themselves so currently right now the only thing that's in there will be a stock suspension I don't know if I'm doing all this work taking wheels off and everything else I want to step up the front suspension while I'm at it. So I haven't bought these yet because they're a pretty penny and mine is a little tight at the moment, but I want to put the Legends cartridges 
AXEOs in the front to kind of go with my back. They always say don't, you shouldn't mix and match your suspensions, go with the same brand for front and back. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. All right, then you're probably thinking, well, that's it, because everything else is black. You don't need to change anything else. Wrong. Wrong. Look at all this wiring mess. You see all that? Look at all that. Look at that. So to uh, combat that, I have a seven and a half inch performance case riser. And I am putting a five inch mid bend bar on there with everything set for internal wiring now. The internal wiring on the mid bend bar goes right through here. So I'll still see it, but it'll be cleaned up. All this junk will be out of the way. It's always been one of my pet peeves with this motorcycle is, is that. Uh, as far as other plans for the bike this winter, um, I do have a set of black Ford controls just to basically swap out the chromes on here. Nothing too earth shattering on that. But uh, that's my project for this winter time. It's probably, I feel like it shouldn't take me a long time, but it's one of those things that uh, it probably will. And I'm probably not going to regret it about halfway through. But, <laughs> you know, what can you do? What can you do? So, well, anyway, like uh, I've been trying to do lately, we'll keep it short and sweet here today. And so, as always, I will catch you all on the next Dark Sword as this is the way. Chop for that. See you next week. See ya.